Okay, this is an instructional video for using the IPTV system to view television feeds on your computer. Uh, we have had an IPTV system in the district for a number of years, uh, and I hear about uh, some people use it and other people's don't use. Other people don't use it and they don't know how, uh, and so they just kind of uh, sit uh, in ignorance, and so. Uh, I wanted to provide this video to show you how um, to get this started. The first thing you need to know is that uh, the player that you need to view this stream is called VLC and it's installed on a lot of the teacher machines. You might have a shortcut on your desktop that says VLC Media Player. Uh, if it's not on your desktop, you could try searching your start menu or start screen for VLC to see if anything pops up. If you don't have VLC, you can always get it off of the internet by going to videoland.org and download VLC for your computer and do the install. The install is very straightforward uh, and there's not a whole lot uh, to it. So once you do that download and install, you'll end up with VLC on your machine. Probably will create a desktop shortcut just like this. So now, once you have VLC installed, you're most of the way there. Uh, what you need to know is that we have uh, three digital feeds. And these are the uh, network addresses for those feeds. So this is CBS if you wanted to see a CBS feed, a CNN if you wanted to see a CNN feed, and there is a high school digital signage feed that is available at this address. Now, I don't want to get technical, and you don't want me to get technical because uh, most of you will just zone out and not get what I'm telling you. So, I'm not going to make it difficult for you. Uh, this will be very easy. These are the instructions that you can send to uh, your computer to start uh, the VLC media player with a certain channel in mind. And you see these numbers here, 225.168.18 is CBS. So you see that address ending in 8. Uh, this is the CBS feed. And so 1.5 is the CNN feed and so you see down here this 1.5 is um, the instructions for running VLC to access CNN uh, and then 1.6 you see up here 1.6 is for the high school digital signage feed uh, so this is these are the instructions that you'll feed your computer to get it to run what you want to see and the way to do this is with the good old fashioned Windows key and R at the same time. And what this is going to do, it launches this cool little run dialog. This is the run dialog. Now what you're going to do with the run dialog, say you want to watch CBS. This is the CBS set of instructions. You're going to want to copy that and feed it to your shoot can't quite reach it feed it to your run dialog so I feed that to my run dialog you see it is what was up here and when I click OK it's going to open VLC and automatically start that feed now it might not be working no oh, there we go so there you go CBS and so that Feeding that to the run dialog will give us CBS. Feeding this to the run dialog, and so I bring up the run dialog, I feed that to it, I hit enter, it's going to launch CNN. So that is our CNN feed, and then this is the high school digital signage feed, I can feed that to the run dialog, and hit enter, and then that's going to pull up the high school digital signage. Um, so these instructions will launch the VLC player 
with this particular feed in mind and you can access CBS, CNN, and the high school digital signage feeds that way. Uh, going one step further, if you wanted to have shortcuts on your desktop to these, uh, you could create shortcuts with that information. For example, right click, go to new, and select shortcut. And then what I'm going to paste in there is the same set of instructions. Uh, and because this is 1 6, I know that it's the high school digital signage feed. So I click next. I call it high school digital signage feed. And I click finish. And now I've got that shortcut on my desktop. I can double click that. And it takes me right to the thing that I'm wanting to see. You can do the same thing with the CNN instructions that are here and the CBS instructions that are here. I could copy that. I can go to my desktop and create a new shortcut. Paste that in there. I can call it CBS and click finish. And now that shortcut takes me right to CBS. And so that would be the way to go about seeing the IPTV um, feeds that we have available on the network uh, using your computer and VLC media player. Okay, so thanks for watching.